In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a toggle button like this in Power BI. So here I've created a toggle button for data label. When I enable this, the data label will be shown for this line chart. So if I enable this, you can see this data labels in the line chart. And if I turn it off, the data labels are gone. Let's start the video. So here I have two line charts. So here we have a shape and we have this line chart. So we have basically two line charts with data label and without data label. So if you see this uh, without data label and then we have this with data label. So these two charts are basically copy pasted and we have enabled the data label in one of the charts. So we have these and we have a shape for the data label. And now we are going to add bookmarks and toggle button for this. So let me show you how to do this. So first of all, let's create two bookmarks for toggle on state and this will be for toggle off state. Let's change the properties of this. So we don't want data to be enabled in both. Let's choose selected visuals. So now let's create a bookmark for this first. So when the toggle is on, we are going to show this with a data label chart. So let's hide this and then select these two charts. Since the data label is visible, we'll update this. So let's update this toggle on and let's do the vice versa. Let's hide this visual and unhide this and select these two visuals. Now the data label is off. So we will assign this bookmark to toggle off so right click and update so as you can see our bookmark is ready so when toggle on data label is visible and toggle off data label is hidden now let's add a bookmark navigator so let's go to the insert and then buttons from navigator let's add bookmark navigator and here we have two bookmarks shown like this to create the toggle button let's select this toggle on and then we can right click and create a group of it so now we have this toggle on inside this group and we will assign this group one to this bookmark. So let's go to the bookmark in the format and choose the group. So it's not visible currently. Let's click outside and click here and let's choose this group one and allow the selection to on. So when we click on this, it will deselect that and the selection should be toggle off. So which means currently toggle is on. And if we click on this, it will be deselected and it will be launching the toggle off bookmark. So next what we can do is let's create a toggle button. So to create the toggle button, let's first copy a black large circle from Google and we can copy this black circle from here. And instead of this toggle on, I'm going to replace it with that circle. So now you can see this circle here. Now what we're going to do is we'll go to this shape first and assign a pill shape to this. Next, let's go to this style and for the default state the text let's make it as 15 and font color let's keep it as white horizontal element i want it to be left aligned and i want it to be a gray color border i want it to be white background and for now selected state do the same 15 and then font color let's white and the alignment will be right aligned and here the fill let's add a green color next in the border we have the same thing now if i select this you can see it's creating a toggle button now we'll have to arrange it correctly so that it's not overlapped anywhere so let's do like this and you can see we'll have to increase or decrease the size properly we can increase the border size here to maybe five for the selected one and for the default one as well we can make the border size to be five now let's arrange it once again and now you can see it's looking better so if i click on this it's showing like this what we can do is we can play with the size of the bookmark navigator and the size of the circle we can push the circle to slightly right as well from here from this padding so let's make it three maybe and uh, for the selected state as well we can make it three from right now if you see it looks something like this so this is how we can create a toggle button in power. If you need my help and want to connect one-on-one -on -one with me, you can book a call on TopMate. And if you want to buy Power BI reports along with dataset and BRD document, you can check out the products I have here. I have provided the links in the description. See you there.
these are the books that i highly recommend buying that can take your power bi skills to the next level these three books can cover almost all the aspects of power bi from dax to power query to the overall power bi dashboarding you can find the link of these books in the description check them out if you want to level up faster i hope you like this video and you have learned something new from this video if you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel tell them goodbye and thanks for watching see you in the next video